Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I've got this Laser Pecker LP4. It's a portable dual laser. Uh, right out of the box, I was pretty impressed with this thing. You get the laser here. It's in a few pieces. Um, you attach this to the stand, and then you attach this to this, and then you're pretty much done. This is magnetic, so it just snaps right back to where it's supposed to be. You plug in a few cables, and I did my first print in uh, five minutes, maybe, from the time I unboxed it. I also picked up the air purifier here, which I haven't quite gotten out and set up yet because I wanted to show you. Ooh, first, this filter's pretty heavy. Uh, you can see the filtering there. You've got a pre-filter made of cotton, and then a HEPA filter, activated carbon, and then another HEPA filter. So you can, you know, use it a little more safely in like enclosed spaces or something. Obviously, I would always recommend that you try to have as much airflow as possible around you when doing this, because eventually you know your filter's gonna get clogged and stuff and not work as well. But it is a nice thing to have. Uh, the very first laser I got, which was kind of similar to this as a dual laser, had an air filter. And, you know, I really liked it. One thing I would say is if you're going to do wood in it, I would just try to do that outside and not use the filter because you're just going to clog the filter that much faster. But if you're doing like business cards, the metal ones or, you know, other metal stuff, totally use the air filter if you get it. Like it, it, it's going to take a long time for that to clog up. But wood, you know, just generates tons of smoke and stuff. So maybe not the best use for it if you can, you know, pump it out a window or just do it outside in general. Um, when I do wood to show you, we're going to go outside. Another thing about the air filter, if you do pick it up, that I wanted to point out is, like, that's some kind of metal, uh, maybe cast aluminum or something. It's, it's very nice. That other brand that I had that had one, this was plastic and it was junky. This even has a nice carrying handle on it. The other did not, and it was just slick plastic. So that's nice because you can pick it up. And this weighs a little bit less than this filter, so it is pretty beefy when you get it together. Um, when I was taking the stuff out of the box, I was like, man, that's heavy. What is that? And I'm like, oh, it's the filter. It's just made really nice. Same thing here. You've got that same kind of cast aluminum or whatever. It's really nice. Everything feels good. Um, it's great. So what else? What can I tell you here? Uh, I also picked up the package that had the rotary extension and the slide extension. We'll look at those in another video. I'm not going to do that today because I need to think of what I'm going to do with that and then probably go get some things that I can actually use in that to check it out. But this does have a 10 watt, 450 nanometer blue diode laser and a 2 watt, uh, 1064 nanometer infrared laser. That's comparable to a lot of the competition out there, like the other one I have, except I already like this one a lot more. The other one actually from the other company quit working within a month uh, and I had problems right out of the gate with it. It was just made poorly. This is so much nicer. I got it up and running just with the app. I didn't even try to set it up with Lightburn last night because I was able to do a print in a matter of minutes just with the app, which is pretty cool. But with these lasers that it has, you know, you can do wood, acrylic, glass, leather, uh, even some metals, you know, with the infrared, so you can engrave stainless steel, aluminum, uh, plastics, as long as they're laser safe plastics. And I think you can cut wood up to like eight millimeter thick and acrylic up to five millimeters. So the user interface on it is like super easy. Um, you have an up and down here. This raises and lowers this and you get your emergency stop and there's a little display here. Let me get some power going to the unit. And I'll show you the little screen here. Let me just cover the glare a little. There we go. So you've got this nice little screen here. It is like a touch screen, so you can do some things. Uh, you can change the laser and it shows you, you know, yellow for the 1040, 1064 and 450 for the other. Um, it's got a few basic things here. You can put it to sleep if you want. You tap it and it comes back up. So you're saving power. I'll show you this real fast. If you press it and hold it for a second, it'll start going down. It will not stop. So when you get it to where you want it, you just do that. Again, you can take this off, but then you do lose your fan because the fan's part of this. And again, over here, I do have the slide extension and stuff. 
Uh, you can actually see part of it there on top of the box. We'll take a look at that in another video. So I'm gonna get a business card going on here and we'll just kind of show you what it can do with that. So this has been going for four minutes and 50 seconds. It's kind of hard to get it to focus on that small text. It's 79%, 80%, four minutes, 56 seconds. So it's making pretty quick work of this card. I put a clip art logo just from the app on there, which is their logo. And then I put, you know, laser pecker LP4, because this will be my little test card that I keep for this laser. And then I just put a QR code. The QR code just goes to ryanmercer.com. I just wanted to see if uh, the QR code generator worked. It's almost done now, 92%. Um, I really like this thing. I like that it has the display right there. Let me go ahead and get this out of here and we'll take a look at it. Yeah, so hard in the ceiling right there. That looks pretty good. Like, that took, what did I say, just a hair over five minutes to do that. And that did the QR code, which is pretty busy and and their logo. And this is just on one of these, you know, metal cards. One thing I like to do with these is I put my one-time passwords on them. And I also put like my master password for my password managers on here. And I'll keep these in my wallet. That way, if I'm somewhere and I have to use a suspect computer or whatever, I have my one-time passwords or I have my password manager because sometimes I'll be on the couch and I use a very complex password for all of my password managers, multiple passwords, and they're hard to remember. So if I'm on the couch and not, you know, in my office where I've got it securely stored, then I can just like pop out the card from my wall and there you go. But you can like design people's business cards. Um, we've used this for stuff at church before where we've made these. They had a little message on them because my wife did an escape room and it was just a fun little thing. Now I have a metal dog tag. I'm gonna try to put something on there and see what we get. So let me show you here real quick. You got, you can set it to give you a range for your preview. Um, obviously you could use fasteners to screw into these so you can get the same angle every time. But for right now, I'm just going to kind of eyeball this here and get that lined up. You can see the blue. There's also two tiny red dots that you can't really see. That's the focal point. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this down to get that focal point in. There we go. So now we'll go ahead and start this real quick. I'm just doing um, Nadja's little doll from what we do in the shadows on the star tag. We're 40% in 28 seconds. 60%. 71. 84. 100% in one minute and 10 seconds. Let me raise this so I can get in there. See if I can get my big bear paw in there, make sure it's cool. And show you what we've got here. And you can see I just made this little tag. Obviously you can make that, you know, whatever size you want and stuff. And orient it the way you want it and everything, but that was just a quick example. So now we'll go ahead and go outside and we'll try some wood in here. So right now I have it in what is called free mode. So you can see this. Free mode allows you to remove the collar, which protects you. Um, you need to wear your safety glasses when you do that. It does have a warning in the application that reminds you of that. So just be safe when you're doing that. But for the purpose of this, I wanted you to see the square and stuff. So right now I just have it doing a heart shape and you can see the little focusing dot there. And then now it's outlining the work area. So you know I can line this up if I want, or say I want to get the most out of this piece of wood, you know, I can come up here. So yeah, um, I've got it set to fill for the text and I've moved it down to cut for the heart. And yeah, let's go ahead and get this going here. So I'll go ahead and click preview in the app. Make sure it's where I want it. It is. Um, I'm going to just focus it a little bit better here. We're just going to touch the controls. There we go. I like the way those dots are lined up a little better now. We're sending the file. Oh, I see what happened. I didn't actually select anything. Rookie mistake. Let's try this again. Preview. All right. Everything looks good. Next, send file. 
Okay, we've got it going. It's engraving the uh, Ryan and Amanda there. I do have the power just a little high for this wood, but you're going to have to dial that in for everything. That's normal with every laser I've had. So it's getting a little scorch. Um, one way you can kind of get around that is you can put like painter's tape over it and it'll help prevent the scorching. And now it is going through and doing the heart. Grab it. And you can see we've engraved a nice little heart there with Ryan and Amanda, that's my wife. So now let's go ahead and flip it over and let's do some cutting. And we're sending it. This time we're cutting a star. I kind of guessed on the settings here a little. So again, we're probably gonna scorch a little, but it's cutting through pretty good. I will note that that plate underneath there too, that comes with it, that's for when you're cutting so you don't uh, hit the plate below it. It's kind of a nice little addition there. And then just for added safety, I've got this piece of wood underneath this because we're actually sitting on top of another laser that I'm using as a table because I didn't want to clean off that table. And all these tables are full. <laughs> I like this thing a lot. This is pretty fun. And there we are. We've cut out so you can either like, you know, you've made a stencil or you've cut out a little star. I am gonna get something thicker now and we're gonna like try to deeply engrave a coaster and we'll do that with the cone on. All right, it's sending, it's starting. You can see it operating through the cone now. And we'll just go ahead and come back when that's done. It's at 2% at 15 seconds, so 3% at 15 seconds, so yeah, it's gonna be a little bit. So here we are, we're about done. There you go. Pretty cool, right? And that's what you can do. This is the Laser Pecker 4. I'll have links in the description, links in the sticky comment, and feel free to check this out. I really like this thing. Um, it's definitely getting permanent space here in my garage. The, some of these are going away, but this is gonna have permanent space here. I'll see you guys in the next video.